I'm going to show you how to do a contour drawing of a shoe in pencil. This is my shoe. It's an old basketball shoe, very dusty. Uh, has a lot of interesting features on it. Has some perforated bits, um, shoelaces, stitching. So it has a lot of detail that I'm going to try to capture in my drawing. Now we're doing a contour drawing. A contour drawing means it is a drawing without any kind of shading. Um, it's just focusing on the outlines of your different features. This is an observation drawing, which means we are trying our best to use our eyes in a really fine-tuned and focused way. We want to observe, observe, observe. You kind of want to break it down into basic shapes and just use lots and lots and lots of lines right now. Once you feel that you've established the basic proportions, then you can go in and start adding details. So proportions are really important. You want to think about how one area of your shoe relates to the other in terms of shape. The best way to do that is to do lots and lots of little exploration lines before you settle on any permanent lines. Now take your time with this. This is not the kind of project that you rush through. It's going to take a lot of time to get the proportions right. You'll have to do some adjusting as you're going. I would not do any erasing at this point. At this point, we are just doing lots and lots of different lines, trying to establish some basic proportions. Once I feel confident that I have the proportions that I want, then I can go in and darken the lines that I want to keep and I can certainly erase the lines that I don't want to keep. And I can see that the stitching starts here and it ends about here. So you want to always see where one line starts and where it ends. My other stitching line starts here and it ends about here. So it's almost like you're mapping out the different stop and start points of the different lines in your shoe. I'm carefully seeing that this area comes out beyond this area so you can kind of decide how far this part extends in front of this part. So you're always doing a visual measurement. This comes down. It swoops down to about here. This is where it stops. So I'm going to create a mark here and then I connect. I'm lining it up with this stitching area. I can see it starts here. This is the little tab in the back. Here I see the back side of it. And then here I see the opposite side. And it kind of comes out. Now you're only drawing what you see, right? If I don't see something, I'm not going to draw it. This is observational drawing. You're only drawing what you are able to observe. I'm just going to start drawing exactly what I see. I'm connecting the lace. It goes over the top. And it kind of disappears in the opposite side. So now this, this is also overlapped with this lace. I'm going to draw that one in first. And then I can see it's coming out here. Now there's also a lace here. And there are also two laces here. I have here some permanent fine liner markers um, in various widths. If you don't have these fine liner permanent markers at home, you can just use a regular ballpoint pen. So I'm just going to start by tracing the contours and I might use a smaller marker to do some of the smaller details. Once I have the front lace, then I can go in and I can add that back lace. I'm taking a darker pen now. This is a 0 0.8, so it's a bit thicker. I'm going to go over some of my main contours. That's going to help me create a little more contrast. Also makes it a bit easier to see when you have different line quality. That means when you have thicker and thinner lines, 
it's easier for your brain to understand what you're looking at as opposed to when all your lines are exactly the same width then the brain quickly gets overwhelmed I'm emphasizing kind of those main areas you can use your pen to fill in some small areas very darkly so by thickening some of your dark lines and by filling in, filling in some spaces that are really deeply shadowed, you can create some strong contrast. So for example, back here, underneath and behind my shoelaces, it's super dark. When I have all my lines drawn in, I can take my eraser and I can erase anything that I don't want to keep. So here's my sneaker. You can see how where I darken some of these areas back here, it creates a lot of contrast and I really like that. I want to find another area where I can deepen some of my contrast. I think I might go in here and darken these, um, this pattern here. So I can just take my thicker marker and I'll just color those in really neatly. Definitely give yourself a lot of time to work on this because there's going to be a lot of details that you can focus on. Well, one area of detail that I could still focus on is creating a little more texture in my shoelaces. For that, I would take even a smaller pen. It can add a little texture in your shoelaces or down here in my sole the sole of my shoe. Okay, so I've added in a little more texture into my shoelaces and into the base of my shoe. And I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. There's not really any more detail that I want to add. I've got all the basic features. Um, I think the proportions are okay. So. Remember, give your time, yourself some time to work on that shoe. Really focus on observation and get all the details in. Create a little bit of contrast by darkening some of your areas for emphasis and have fun with it. Thank you.